Basketball coach, I'm really pleased and happy for my basketball players. Uh, they have worked extremely hard over the last several days since returning from a Christmas break. Uh, they will tell you that. I've been very hard on them and uh, they've responded very well. And I'm very happy and pleased for them because they, 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 they fought hard and, and uh, uh, when Robinson hit that jumper, I think with seven or seven and a half minutes to go, I think it might have been 721 left or something like that, and we went down one. Or we responded in a great way, I think, with a 12-0 run, if I'm not mistaken. So just really pleased. They showed a, a lot of grit and um, um, just it's a hard-fought game. What happened uh, after that run start? Uh, what I didn't change anything. I, I just think that, to be honest with you, I, I just think a lot of the, you know, we, we start three freshmen and, and people might think it's an excuse. No, they just need to find themselves and they need, you know, they, 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 just, just, they just need to get into the game and, and understand that they can play. And, and uh, I think we just start the game sometimes just kind of looking around, whatever. I'm not really sure what the answer is, to be honest with you. And all of a sudden, the light goes on, and hey, we got to play. Let's go. And, and we got some stops, and we got some easy baskets in transition. Travis started us off, I think, with a mid-range J. And Cody got himself a couple of buckets and, and uh, got us going. They shot 36% in the second half. Jeff, what do you attribute that to? Xavier? Yeah. Well, yeah, I think in the first half uh, they had, what, uh, 22 points in the paint in the first half? Right. Yeah. And in the second half we, they only got 10. And, and uh, in the first half we were a little late on, on our double teams in the post. Uh, uh, um, we did a much better job in the second half of really, really protecting the paint. Is that the biggest reason that, that Taylor has scored 16 points in the first 12 minutes, only got one shot in the second half? Right, in, in the first half, we, we, are, we didn't uh, fire, we called a fire, uh, down on him and double team him. He bounced it several times, got to the rim in the first half, and for whatever reason, we just kind of didn't react. We talked about that at halftime. He did a much better job in the second half. David Thomas had 14 years out. He was really a man for the inside night. Yes, Devin is just, uh, he plays with such great, great passion and energy and uh, did a terrific job on the boards, terrific job. Coach, can you talk about Travis and his game and how it's, how it's come along here, especially from the beginning of the season with him and CJ were both struggling? Well, we, uh, no, uh, try, I, I never lost any, I, I believe in my players, they know that. I'm tough on them, but I believe in them, I love them, I tell them that pretty much every day. Uh, I never wavered in Travis and CJ whatsoever in terms of the fact that, hey, they're going to come around and be who they are. Terrific young men and terrific young players. What do you see as the impact going into your first ACC over at you? Well, uh, just the fact that all this hard work that we've put in is paying off or getting better. But, you know, you can do that in practice, but you need to see results. And they saw results tonight. We've had a couple of three over three hour practices, so I told them, you know what, maybe this is the reason we won this game, so maybe we should just keep doing it. <laughs> what did they say? They didn't like that. <laughs> Where's the program now in relation to when you took over? Well, you know, we're, we're, uh, we're in a really good place right now. We really are. We're uh, one of the youngest teams in the country, bar none. Um, uh, we're getting better. Uh, we have young men who are uh, just doing a terrific job both on and off the court uh, in the traditional Wake Forest way. And so um, there's a great, great foundation here. And that, you know, along the way we've made some tough decisions um, to build the foundation back the right way. And, and it is, and it's rock solid, and uh, you, they're growing up every day. Coach, at what point in the season, particularly given all the playing time that freshmen right now at Wake get, 
at what point do you no longer consider them freshmen? You hear a lot of times entering postseason play. These freshmen, they're not freshmen anymore. Out of conference schedule is over. Are these guys still freshmen in your eyes? I, I told them, actually, I told them back in the summertime that they had the summer to be freshmen. When they came back in the fall, they needed to be sophomores. Um, no, they need to grow up and grow up fast. And, and uh, you know, they're, I believe in them. And uh, they just need to believe in themselves that they can play at this level. And I think sometimes when we start the game, they just kind of not quite sure. Uh, and they just, they just need to play and believe in themselves with great conviction. Staying on that theme of uh, growing up fast, uh, you talk about Cody's growth and just how he's progressed and what you've seen from him, especially tonight. Yeah, I think Cody, like some of these other freshmen, uh, they think too much. I told them to have no memory. Don't even have a short memory. Have no memory. Just go play. Just go play. You know, you know and I, it's, it's different. I, I, any of you who have ever played the game knows and you guys, you've all been around a long time. You know that this is, high school is different than college. It is. And, and things that weren't really important in high school and you didn't have to pay attention to in high school because you were just so much more talented, like defensive transition and defending situations and screens and double teaming in the post and blocking people off. All of, and, and, and how to use a screen, how to set a screen. The screeners need to understand, is the man shooting the gap? Is he locking and trailing? And, and the user needs to understand that. And uh, all these kinds of things, are, it, it's all new to them. And, 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 and they've had to absorb so much that sometimes a, a thinking athlete becomes a non-athlete because you're just paralyzed with information. And, and now it's becoming a little bit more instinctive, instinctive, instinctive. And, and, and that's, that's the growth that you need to have as a young player. Uh, they just need to know they, 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 they can't. We need to improve our starts. <laughs> um, Thanks, guys. With the players across the hall. Thanks for the time.